Greetings, everyone, and thank you so very much for joining me here at the Goulet Pen Company. My name is Drew. Hello. You are you. Hello. And today we're going to talk about this diplomat right here, as well as a few others. And let's just take it out of this really, really nifty box. We've got a metal sleeve here over top of a cardboard box, which is a really neat design. And there's the pen. That is the Diplomat Arrow in stripes black. We've got some stuff in there. We've got some cartridges and a card. But the pen itself is a very, very unique look because normally when you've got an arrow, which is one of Diplomat's more popular models, it is one coating of anodization over top of aluminum. However, one color, two colors. What, Drew, how do they do that? By anodizing the whole thing black and then polishing it down. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a brushed aluminum look going on here. So that leaves a nice brushed metal look on the surface. And then in the recesses, it retains that black anodization because they only polish right on the surface. It is a heavy ur pen because it is aluminum, but it's not steel. So it's not, it's probably not as heavy as it looks. And you do have a finial design here with the Diplomat logo. Under the cap, which by the way, one of, if not the most satisfying capping feels in all of Fountain Pendum because this cap, oh my gosh, it is a beautiful thing. It really, really is. You start to feel a little bit of resistance right about there and then gently it just pops right on. It is a super, super satisfying feel. The pen does post and it is not tremendously back weighted when you do, but that being said, it does write just fine unposted as well. Sometimes people think that a metal grip section on a fountain pen can be a little slippery or hard to hold. This is a very, very easy grip section to hold. Not only is it not slick at all, it's actually pretty textured. It's this nice matte finish on the aluminum here, but it does have a step there at the bottom so that in the event your fingers do creep where they don't belong, it's got a nice tactile area that tell you stop going there. Once you get the barrel off of the grip section, you're going to notice some really awesome looking threads here and then a Diplomat branded standard international converter. So this pen will take standard international converters and cartridges. The nib itself is a very gorgeous nib. It has the Diplomat logo on there and it is available in steel or gold. It is one of the few two-tone gold nibs that Yovo is producing right now. That's right, Yovo produces these nibs for Diplomat. It's a very well-known German brand. They have a great reputation for quality and are used on many, many fountain pens. It is a friction fit feed and nib. However, the housing unit within the grip section does not unthread. The machining is really great on this pen. You can easily just kind of spin these off. That's what I love about these pens. They're so fun to fiddle with. And um, I'm going to go ahead and say the Goulet Pen Company is not responsible for any loss of productivity if you have one of these in your workspace. It's very evident that in the manufacturing process, a lot of attention goes into making these pens. Every line is clean, every cut, there's just no loose ends. Everything is just meticulously detailed and everything just fits. And I'm going to bring in some friends, and this is not all of them by any means. So we do have various colors in addition to the newest member of the family. And this one, the Stripes Black pen that we're featuring today, and this one are probably the two biggest outliers. The Arrow in Flame is a very different pen just because it's not made of aluminum. It's made of stainless steel. Like I said before, the aluminum is not that heavy. This one is heavy. This is a heavy pen. It is a stainless steel chonker of a pen, but it's super cool. So <laughs> this one's probably the biggest difference, but you have plenty of options, but hopefully I've provided you with enough information for you to either get more curious or move on to something that uh, fits you a little bit better. If you would like to see writing samples of this nib on these pens, we have those available to you as well in the Goulet Pen Company nib nook. So thank you so very much for stopping by and spending some time with me. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I will do my best to answer. Until then, have fun, try it on.